is Matthew Holt with a THTV Spotlight, starring my uh, old friend Stan Kuznowski, who is the, I want, to th I want to say you're the Distinguished Professor of uh, Applied Health Informatics at Columbia, Stan, but that's probably the wrong title for you, but you are a Professor of Health Informatics at Columbia in New York City. Well, I appreciate that, Matthew, and thanks for having me on today. And uh, I'm the Director of the Digital Health Program at Columbia Business School, Executive Education Department, and excited to be hosting you next week virtually on the Digital Health Strategies Program, winding down three days of virtual learnings on digital health strategy. You'll be the, uh, the last uh, lecturer that people will hear for the program, and uh, we're, we're really excited to have you on campus. So it's either going to be building up to, the, building up to me or it'll be winding down to me, one of the two, and it's going to be big. Very disappointed I can't be in New York because uh, that would mean means a bit of a chance to socialize and drink, drink a, a glass of whiskey with you. But uh, all right, let's talk a bit about the, the program. Um, so at Columbia Business School, this is an executive education program for both doctors and healthcare executives, drug company executives, health system executives. Give us a sense about the, the when you do it live and what you have coming up next week. Who, who kind of comes, how many people there are, and what the idea behind the program is. It really is, especially in this age of COVID-19, it is built for physicians, for health system executives, for life science executives, uh, hospital executives, around the ability to plan and uh, present, allocate resources for their digital health strategies, not just for today, not just for COVID-19, for what we're seeing in this uh, new rapid, super accelerated virtualization of healthcare, but also afterwards. So that we'll be uh, not only featuring some of the best Columbia Business School professors uh, like Carrie Chan and uh, Frank Lichtenberg and others, but also some of the best professors from Columbia in bioinformatics like Andrea Califano, uh, one of the country's top bioinformaticists who will be giving people pointers on the technological underpinnings of digital health. And then we'll also have people like uh, executives from Google and McKinsey leading workshops and leading case studies on uh, what do people need to think about relative to the future of healthcare uh, post COVID. So not only responding to the current situation, but also being able to develop and create an organization that's gonna be successful in leapfrog competition post COVID. Yeah, and you've got a couple of uh, people from industry there as well, right? I see you have uh, folks from uh, who are building incubators or building digital health practices at Novartis and also at, uh, uh, on, on the funding side at Merck. And then you have uh, the folks from Livongo talking about their journey from sort of starting up to IPO and kind of what happens next there. So you've got a fair, you've got a fair rounding there, but sort of the academic and the, uh, the non-academic. What do you think uh, if some of us sign up for this, what are they going to get out of it? Other than my dog barking in the background. Who hopefully won't be on the show. <laughs> These days, that's always out of control. Now, that's a great question, and there are really three major components that uh, folks that are enrolled in the program will have after they certify in digital health strategy from Columbia Business School. First of all, they're going to know the who. Who are the stakeholders? The patients, the physicians, the hospitals, the health systems, the life science companies, the public health agencies and what are the perspectives of each of those stakeholders. So that's number one, and really that's day one. Day two, they get to know the what. And when I say what, I'm talking about not just what technologies are the most diffusive in digital health today, but, and that'll certainly be presented by Lee Shapiro and Glenn Tolman from Livongo, but also what techniques, what methodologies are the most diffusive and are really winning the day today in diffusing digital health technologies and integrating them with health systems, hospitals, life science companies, et cetera. And so it's, it's that technique component that's critical. And that's where people will hear from individuals like you uh, had mentioned earlier, Robin Roberts from the Novartis Biome, Stephen Pitts from J-Labs, some of the more successful, diffusive, and well-integrated components of uh, organizations out there today, really helping not only identify the best digital health technologies, but diffusing them into the ecosystem. And then uh, if you were to go to this as a person who came along and was an executive, what, for the people who went a couple of years ago, and you've been running these for a while now, um, what have they been able to do with this in the back in their day jobs? How has this helped them go ahead? Now, that's a great question. We have John Carroll, who is the site head for Roche R&D, 
uh, you know, here in the U.S., uh, he's given a, a number of testimonials about how he not only learned about the what and the who, but also about the how, and that's really what we cover on day three. People are going to go back to the office on Monday, or literally, they're not even going to leave the office. The <laughs> they're actually not going to go to their office. They're going to stay in the same place they were. So <laughs> Hopefully one go, day we'll go back to an office, I'm hoping. <laughs> exactly. So they're going to go back to their jobs uh, on Monday after doing this program, and they're going to be able to implement immediately because they will have learned about various strategic models for digital health, uh, having been taught by Professor McGrath. You know, Reed is one of the top strategy professors in the country, and then they'll go through a workshop with McKinsey, uh, each group, and there'll be uh, almost more than a dozen different breakdown groups, uh, will have their own McKinsey consultant working with them, developing a digital health strategy for their unit, for their organization, for their company. And so that is the kind of thing they'll be able to take back to the work when they switch screens from you know the, the program uh, winding down Thursday evening to getting back to their jobs Friday morning, they'll have the how and the methodologies needed to actually transfer the knowledge and actually utilize it the very next day. We have a number of testimonials from past enrollees, people who've certified in digital health strategy from Columbia Business School, and they all relate to, they felt great about being able to go back to the office and, and turn online their, their actual uh, day jobs and utilize everything they learned in the program over the course of the three-day certification process. Yeah, I'm actually seeing a number of increased number of people who come to me who are health system executives or what have you who have who've been you know looking at uh, who've been looking at to taking a role in business or industry or going to a startup or what have you trying to figure out their next move, especially with the big tech companies getting more involved in health healthcare, of course. And I'm seeing a lot of those resumes, you know, who may be a, a doctor who practiced many years or you know, whomever, who's now added one of these executive programs on. They seem to be like a very successful way of cramming their MBA down into sort of two or three days <laughs> rather than spending two and a half years as, as many others doing, are doing it. But that's going to be uh, a lot of fun. Well, I'm looking forward to, uh, to, to, to not coming to New York. I'm looking forward to, to, to kicking my two cents into the, uh, to the last day of this. I'm going to be talking a little bit about some of the different uh, changes, you know, in the structure of how we're delivering uh, health, health and healthcare. With uh, with these new technologies and also some of the more successful, um, some of the some of the more successful changes that we're seeing, partly as a result of COVID, but also we've sort of been building up to that. And I think I'll be very much the, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, if I'm lucky, I'll be the cherry on the icing. There's a lot of a lot of solid stuff in the cake. <laughs> so I'll be coming up coming up that over those three days. All right. Well, we'll leave it there. I'll put a note in the uh, in the blog here. And uh, but actually, you can also tell people, Stan, if, if you don't, if you're just seeing this and you haven't found out about. Uh, the Columbia Business School Digital Health Strategy course before. How do they, how do they find out about it? Yeah, they can certainly uh, email me uh, directly, swk16 at gsb.columbia.edu. They can always call me, Old Fashioned Analog, 212-543-0107. Uh, love to talk to them about the program and find a way to get them enrolled. All right, fantastic. I'll put some links in the, uh, in the blog post. Sam, thanks for chatting with me. Looking forward to seeing you uh, in the weekend change. Likewise, looking forward to it, Matthew. Thanks for having me.